And welcome back guys, we are moving into part two of the Sportster customization series. So today I'm going to take you down shores, we're going to be looking at the exhaust, suspension, the wheels and the challenges that we've had basically trying to get this bike together. Without further ado, let's get down there right now. You got to let it go. Boom, we're back at Shaw Harley Davidson. I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that's just arrived for Fat G. It's been a fair few weeks, guys. There's been some major challenges, but mostly through to distribution, so getting the stuff from suppliers. A lot of the stuff has been made as well, so custom in itself does take a long time. Um, what else? Loads of changes going on at Shaw Harley Davidson. So as you can see in the background, there's new lighting. Um, there's also a new photography place, which is gonna be great for me. Yeah, without further ado, let's get down the bottom end and check out the bike. So that is it, we've pretty much got everything that we need, so the majority of the stuff in here have got things like wheels, swing arms, exhaust, air filter, so I'm going to show you guys those bits and bobs. Still got some more stuff to come, so I'm waiting on custom handlebars, uh, my tank which is being custom designed by Image Design and Custom, and other bits, but without further ado, let me show you what's in these delicious boxes. So first box we got is from Rick's Motorcycle, so we should have wheels, swing arm, all the stuff that's going to make the 240 rear and at the front end get the front wheel for that which is the same stock size as a normal 48. Let me show you what these look like. So that is the inner piece. So this is the creme de la creme. This is what's going to make the wheel really pop out and I'll tell you about the colour scheme in a bit. Let's get the rest of the rim. So the idea is, is that with this part of the wheel, this is going to be um, a gloss black. That'll fit on top like this, as you can see. Bada boom. And then this bit will go on top. Like so. So this part of the wheel, the rim, will be anodized gold. So there'll be gold and black. And then these bolts will be left then as silver and they'll be going in here then. So that'll be the look of the wheel. So here we got the swing arm from Rex. And again, guys, this is a full kit. So it comes with the rear pulleys, everything to make sure that you can fit the 240 onto your bike. But yeah, I need to get it powder coated in black. But there's two different styles of swing arm you can go for. The other swing arm has just got the normal swing arm without this fixed to it, but I wanted this just to give it more of a aesthetic, cool look. But yeah, that's the swing arm. Right, last thing from the guys at Rex. So what I'm showing you now is what you can see on the back of the monster bike. And it is, of course, the rear fender. So this is something else that we need to get painted as well. In terms of the color scheme of this, we're just gonna go for a black and then it's gonna have a logo on it as well then. This is what I'm really excited about. But let me show you something that's different to the usual fancy lines. Here we go. Creme de la creme, TBR exhaust system, something that I've always wanted. 
but it's just such a good exhaust. Great for performance, two into one. And yeah, I took the plunge with this. So that'll be going on the bike as well, guys. Look forward to seeing what it performs like and what it sounds like. Never heard one in the flesh. And uh, you don't see many in the UK as well, which is nice, actually. So I'm halfway through showing you all the stuff, and I must admit, I haven't realized how much I've actually got. It's quite a bit. Other thing I forgot to say as well, 20,000 subscribers now, guys. So thank you very much for the support. I've just forgotten. I've got to show you something else from TBR. Look at this mother. Here we go, guys. This has only just been released, I think. So this is the air filter or air cleaner that I'll be going for from TBR. And I just thought it'd complement, obviously, the exhaust system then. So, bada boom, job done. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is the suspension. And the reason why I upgraded the suspension is because after I took the Monster out, I felt that the rear suspension was really stiff, but I wanted something that I could raise and lower. So if I was doing some shots for Instagram or Facebook, then I can get off the bike, lower the back end so it looks really dope. And at the same time when I'm riding it, I can raise the back end because it's gonna be a lot more comfier. So let's get it out of the box. There you go, guys. The Legend air suspension then. Really nice bit of kit. And as I mentioned, something that I can have it raised or lowered. I think it goes as low as 11 inches and as high as 13. So that's a nice variation for me. Uh, obviously the motorized aspect of it. And the way you change the ride is just here. So you've got the switches, air in, air out, blah, 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 job done. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Last but not least then, we have got, I always get this wrong, Rizoma. So these are the usual indicators that they do here at Shores, and you see a lot of the sportsters with these on. So just little mini indicators go on the back. So you got rear, front, and then the other thing that I've got just for aesthetic look is the fat spark wires. So they look pretty nice on the bike. So that, and then one last thing. So one last thing then, I've invested in a, can't see it, there you go. It is the Daymaker. So I wanted to get one of these just because I've had a much better experience in the dark with this rather than the, uh, the candles that they put on the front of the, the stock bikes. So that's where we are at the moment, guys. The bike is going on the bench next week. They're gonna completely strip it. So I'm hoping by uh, a week today, which is Saturday, um, I'll be able to come back in and show you the progress then. Uh, as I said, things that we're waiting on, the wheels need to go away to get painted as well, the bars need to arrive, the bars, you guys, I, you guys are going to be surprised by the bars that I've gone for, but what I can say is it's opposite to drag, and that's not drag queen, drag bars, and that's it. So, hope you enjoyed the vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and as always guys, stay safe, see you soon, all the best, Motor New Brider.